Hello everyone, uh, Nasr Azwan here. Uh, welcome to my video uh, part 3, Toshin. So in the video, in this video, we will do uh, together uh, two examples uh, that involve uh, the analysis of uh, structure uh, under, under top. Okay, so we start with the example one. Uh, let me read the question first. The shaft is supported by two bearings and is subjected to three torques. Determine the shear stress developed at point A and B, where the point A and B is located at section AA. Okay, so now the question is, what is the stress at point A and B, where A and B is located at section AA? So in order to solve the problem, so first we have to determine what is the inter internal torque at section AA so that uh, we can use that value uh, we can apply that value into the shear of shear stress formula uh, in order to calculate uh, the stress okay all right so first uh, we draw the overall free body diagram of the shaft so let me draw for the free body diagram so I draw the shaft first Okay, and then uh, we have three uh, important points here, point K, point L, and also point M. And then uh, using the right hand rule, okay, we can draw uh, the top acting at each point. Okay, for example, using uh, for point K, okay, the top is uh, 4250 which is directed to the right okay so how do i know the uh, torque is directed to the right okay using the so i'm using the uh, right hand rules okay and then uh, for point l the torque is directed to the left and then the value of torque is 3000 and then for point m okay the same direction with l and the value is 1250 Okay, remember that uh, we are going to uh, calculate the internal torque at section AA. So what we have to do is uh, we have to do the imaginary cut okay, at section AA where AA is located in between point L and also point M. 3000. Okay, and of course I have the internal torque of TAA. And then, uh, what is the TAA? Okay, so we can apply the summa summation of force in X direction equal to zero. So that is the uh, concept of uh, static uh, equilibrium. Okay, the system must be in static equilibrium, which is the summation of force in X direction must be equal to zero. So from here, we can write the relation, uh, which is a 4 to 5 o, uh, minus 3000. Okay, so we assume uh, the direction to the right is positive. So 4250 is positive. And then minus 3000 because the direction is directed to the left. And then minus uh, TAA equal to 0. So from here, uh, TAA is equal to 1250 kN mm. Okay, so that's the value for... Uh, TAA. Alright, so we have uh, the relationship uh, between stress and torque, which is the shear stress tau equal to T uh, C over J. Okay, or we can write T P over J. Okay, so in order to calculate the stress, we need the value of J. Okay, so and remember J is the polar moment of in the uh, polar moment of initial so uh, let's we calculate what is the j so j is equal to pi over 2 times c where c is the radius of the shaft and power of 4 okay so if we substitute the value of radius uh, of the shaft so we get j equal to pi over 2 times 0 0.075 to the power of 4 so here equal to 
4.97 times 10 minus 5 m to power of 4. Okay, so now uh, we already have the value of j. We can straight away calculate what is the stress, uh, sharing stress at point A. So, sharing stress at point A is given by uh, T A A times uh, P A over J. Okay, so we substitute the value. What T A A is equal to 1, 2, 5, O times P A is 0.075 and then divided by, okay, let's me. Divided by J equal to 4.97 times 10 minus 5. So, tau A is equal to uh, 1.88 mega Pascal. Okay. Now, let's really proceed with uh, tau B. So, tau B is equal to uh, TAA okay, multiplied by uh, P B over J. Okay, so this one is, is equal to one two five O. Okay, time P B. P B is uh, fifteen mm, so equal to zero point zero one five, and then divided by four point nine seven time ten minus five. So from here. The tau B is equal to uh, 0.38 mega Pascal. Now we're done. Okay, we already we done for uh, tau A and also tau B. Okay, now let's move on to example two. All right, example two. Uh, let's me read the question first. Uh, a solid shaft, a solid shaft AB is to be used to transmit 3,750 watt from the motor M to which it is attached. If the shaft rotates at n equal to 175 rpm and it still has an allowable sharing stress of tau allowable equal to 100 megapascal, determine the required diameter of the shaft to the nearest millimeter. So this question asks uh, to calculate uh, the diameter of the shaft. Okay, what is the diameter of the shaft? Okay, D. Okay, the diameter is present by the D. So that it can transmit the power of 3750 watt. Okay, so from the power, okay, for the given value of the power, we can calculate, basically we can calculate what is the uh, top that required to be transmitted okay so we have uh, the equation for the power which is the power p equal to uh, 2 pi uh, n t over uh, 60 okay so if we rearrange the equation okay in terms of a uh, top t so we get uh, 60 times p okay divided by 2 I n. So we can get uh, the value of t from this equation, which is the t is equal to 60. So we substitute the value of p and also n. So we get the, uh, the we get the value of t. So p is uh, 3750 divided by 2 pi times n and is 175. So uh, finally, so the, the t is equal to Two four two zero four point six two newton meter. Okay, so that is the t. Okay, that's the t. And then we have, uh, and then the question give the value of uh, allowable stress. Okay, which is the allowable stress. Uh, the allowable stress is equal to uh, t c over j. Okay. With J. Uh, so from here, if we uh, modify or we substitute the value of J, okay, so we can get a TC over, so J equal to pi 
c power of 4 okay, divided by 2 so I put 2 here okay so from here we can cancel out uh, the c okay at the top and then here will be equal to c power of 3 okay c cube and then if we because the equation asks us to calculate the diameter so it's better to uh, rearrange the equation in term of c so i can write from this equation i can write the c actually is equal to the uh, cube root okay cube root of uh, 2 t over pi tau allowable okay so and then uh, we can straight away calculate what is the c okay by substituting all the uh, value uh, of okay the value of t and also tau allowable okay so let's proceed what is the c c equal to uh, cube root of 2 times uh, t, t is, is 204.62 and then divided by pi okay so pi multiplied by uh, tau allowable which is equal to 100 uh, megapascal okay so from here uh, the c is equal to 10.94 millimeter all right so we know that the diameter is equal to uh, 2 times c okay so that the d or diameter equal to 2 times 10.94 and also equal to so that the d is equal to 22 uh, millimeter so that is the the minimum required uh, minimum uh, diameter of the shaft that is required to transmit the power of 3750 so we so this is the end of uh, video part 3 till we we'll meet again in the next video thank you